Uh, Radiance guys, what's up? Time for another video. And today I'm going to talk about a behavior I can't stand that's really annoying. And this behavior, I don't know if uh, any of you guys uh, are with me on this. Uh, this is a behavior that's mostly, to my knowledge and my experiences, I never seen any guys or any uh, in the male population do this. This is always a woman thing. And, a lot of times it's a mother thing or any older family member like it. I don't know, you might have an aunt that does this too, but a lot of times people's mothers and wives, I don't know, even sometimes girlfriends does it, but I noticed in a lot of cases in my experience too, this is not always like really, I never seen it as a young, young woman thing as much as it was a, uh, older woman thing. It's, for some reason I noticed it's always older women that engage in this behavior and I can't stand. Okay, bear with me for a minute. It's like, if you bear with me, uh, for example, you know, a lot of us, you know, say if you have live in a house with a bunch of, you know, different family members or whatever, I don't know, anybody like your enemies or anybody, it could be neighbors down the street you don't get along with or bullshit like you find out in in the mail or by telephone, you know, bill collectors or tax collectors or any, I mean, when any kind of bad news arises or any trouble arises, either from enemies or any shit starters or trouble, a lot of us normal people, you know, mostly men are like, ah, fuck them, who do they think they are, screw them, Blah, you know. Who do they think, who the hell do they think they are? We're usually like that, we regard that as normal, but a lot of, you know, women, a lot of times people's mothers and wives and all that, um, have this thing where, uh, oh, I can't stand these words too when they say nervous, when they use the words nervous and upset. Like, for example, um, anyway, like, if you were to get in a fight with some of these maybe female family members, whether it's like, like, um, mothers, you know, and some people have wives that are like us too. Oh, they're ready to fight, man. They're yelling at you at the top of their lungs, man. They're just ready to fight. But then every time their enemies, you know, outside the house, uh, get to them and piss them off, they're nervous and upset. And then they even smoke the cigarette, unlike the rest of us. You know, a lot of us, even when I was a, uh, a younger kid in my teens bandana and sunglasses trying to imitate Guns N' Roses. I smoked a cigarette because that was a male thing. And some of the girls that I went to school with, you know, did maybe listen to rebellious music. Eh? Them too, they smoked a cigarette, at least with their head high, like you're... The cigarette posture, you liked it. You're flipping the world off really hard, right? But then these older, mostly, to my knowledge, female family members or people that you know, do this different thing that they're nervous and upset every time their enemies get to them and they smoke the cigarette the wrong way and they're crouched some kind of way in a chair you know hunched over with this look on their face and sometimes you almost see them practically rock, rocking back and forth. I know I've seen once or twice um, slightly younger uh, uh, women like uh, Maybe the girlfriends of some friend you know once in a great while talking they smoke because they're nervous and then they do the it's the the nervous thing with the cigarette is totally wrong. It's evil, it's a sin. I mean they it should be punished some kind of way, uh you guys have any ideas because the right way the right way to smoke a cigarette if you smoke a cigarette at all. And mostly men do, men have it going on, especially when they're in a car too. You know this cigarette in their mouth most of the time, because that's a male thing, and it's usually like you're flipping the world really off really hard, and it's the male being super cool or what an attitude thing. But some women are a little bit like it, but a lot of them even in the car they have to have it between their fingers all the time. And I just yeah, that's some of that's sus subject matter another rant for another video that I figure I'd throw in but anyway yeah the ones that engage in the behavior that I was just talking about being nervous and upset have the tendency 
to be in a car and then all stuff if they don't have a cigarette in their fingers more than they're smoking it has to be life and it's life and death for them they must have the cigarette between their fingers don't hardly ever smoke it but it's in their fingers with the annoying older woman female posture and then when they're not driving a car it's a nervous posture or if they're not smoking they're in a car instead of driving the fucking car they have to be stuffing their face they're gonna die if it's a must or else they might die if they don't be stuffing their face with either candy or some kind of donuts or some damn shit it's like drive the fucking car you know but anyway, yeah, but yeah, this video was mostly about the behavior where that I can't stand. I know you probably, some of you guys watching probably have either a mother like this or some people, you probably know some people's wives that will do, they'll do this. They'll, they'll fight ferociously. How, why are they like this? They'll fight ferociously with their own family uh, in the house, whether it's their husbands or the boyfriend anybody that's in the if it's somebody in the house like there's a rouse you man they'll fight ferociously but uh when something happens outside of the house like that's involving your enemies that's are that's the, when you're in a household you'd use a reference like our enemies or our haters or our people that piss us off these people when it comes to them they're nervous and upset yeah, they're nervous and upset when, say, the enemies are getting to them. And plus, if these people found this out, then they'd be have full satisfaction too. They, but then if they get in a fight with you over something stupid or trivial, like you unwillingly said, "Man, ready to fight," you know what I mean? And and when they engage in that behavior, it's it's so insulting because uh, it's like they're putting uh, you below the enemies you know like say you're living with these people that are like that they're put they're putting you below your enemies you and their enemies uh, of the house that's what's so insulting and disgusting about it and then you always find yourself when uh, whatever enemies or whoever, whatever you want to call them, are pissing them off, you're always trying to talk them out of it and give them a speech. I mean, say you're saying stuff like, oh, that's what they want, you know, why do you, you know, if they found out that, man, they'd be, you know, laughing and they'd love that. Yeah, I mean, that's what they want. And if they found out you went out the house saying that and they got wind of it, you know, they'd be having fun. They'd love that. And then you'd go and tell them too. I oh, and you'll subtly start to say a little bit at the time. You'd be telling them all, "How come, when it comes to to our enemies, you're always going on and on that you're nervous and upset?" But then, and but if that were me or so and so, you make references to if it was you or like so and so that lives in the house, then man, you're roaring to go ready to fight you know uh, screaming and yelling when you should be screaming and, uh, like say one of your enemies or family member that, that you did you don't get along with is at the door you should be why don't you scream at them like that but no you'll scream at me like that right and then but when it comes to them or our enemies you're nervous and upset I mean that is like that's like the biggest insult in history. I mean, that's the s most ridiculous behavior. And um, and the reason why I was brought up smoking is because the ones that engage in this behavior, they don't smoke the cigarette the right way, like the rest of us, or like m me when I smoked when I was younger, or any of you guys. I always thought, hey, you any... Oh, yeah, that's another thing, too. Any of you younger kids that are watching... Am I right or wrong? You smoke a cigarette, don't you smoke it in a way that you're, uh, like you're flipping the world off really hard. Well, when I was a kid imitating Guns N' Roses and bandana and sunglasses, and if I had some of them old pictures, I'd probably look so freaking stupid. Uh, if I went through my attic and my pictures or anything, if I had any left, but, um, I think, I always thought, 
that maybe you younger generation are a little bit like at. Well, except for the ones that I've seen on, uh, about on YouTube. And if it wasn't for YouTube, I wouldn't even know it was that bad. The, the people, the emos or whatever you call it, the ones that are always on YouTube about cutting their cells because they're, the world is treating them bad and they're always depressed. And Yeah, they're a different category. Uh, <laughs> but, um... Yeah, that's the thing that I do not understand, you know what I mean? Uh, that drives me nuts. I can't stand it. And you tell them and tell them, you know what I mean? And you try to, to tell them the right way to have an attitude. I says, why don't you just light a cigarette, walk right up down the street in the, per in the parking lots or whatever, in the presence of your enemies, like you're flipping them off really hard. Why don't you do that like the rest of us? But that nervous and upset thing I mean the people and uh, yeah correct me if I'm a wrong people uh, most of the time like I says in my experiences it's a woman thing and it's usually an older woman thing maybe some of you, your young kids some of your mothers are like that you know what I mean or maybe some of you guys know, have wives that act like that um, oh I can't I hate that shit I can't stand that shit I mean why do they do that I mean, I always thought that the... Matter of fact, I project... That's what I advocate on YouTube. That you, when you project it the right way, nervous and upset, that the whole idea of being nervous and upset is evil. It's inconceivable. When I project, I work real hard to project on YouTube to have an attitude. Just walk up all cocky. If you smoke, like I said, smoke the cigarette in a way like you're flipping the people off really hard, you know, that's the right way, you know what I mean, uh, who, who the hell really wants to act that other way, it's just evil, it's just not right, it's stupid, it's idiotic, it's, uh, for some of us it's just unthinkable, I mean, why the hell, I mean, why the hell would somebody want to choose to act that way when the right way is to walk up and project an attitude? And don't, not only that, they act like, uh, when you project the attitude toward that, they act like you're crazy or something, you know what I mean? Uh, but, and plus... Like, every little thing that somebody says bothers them and makes them nervous and upset. Well, the rest of us, when we hear we get wind of that we're not liked and they don't like something about us, we walk around and with a, like, fuck you attitude, you know, who the hell are you, you know, and uh, just walk around. I always thought the right way, the, I thought, I always thought the right way to live would be to walk around like that, knowing that about your haters and just walk by with a chip on your shoulder and and uh, do whatever you can to get smarter and stronger so that you can snub them with without worried about being threatened that they're going to do something to you if uh, you don't shut up or that they're tired of your mouth and that you better shut up, that you better do this or that or whatever, you know what I mean? That's, in my book... I mean, I'm behaving the right way. There ain't no nervous and upset bullshit, you know. Uh, that's... People that act that way should be, I don't know, punished some damn how. They should be uh, ridiculed. Uh, th 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 I mean, uh, not that you want to harm the person and uh, do anything that to hurt their feelings to be hateful but that type of hi behavior should be ridiculed so that they feel stupid for being that way but it does not work and plus reason does not work with these people when you explain to them you know that they hate it more when you walk around with an attitude and if you they find out that you've got they've gotten to you then you're done I mean, being nervous and upset is just not the way to go. It's just not. Period.
But uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, you get the idea.